Hi, Gemini. It's all about you. So this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Gemini's my loves. This is... I have a feeling like this is a time when you are sitting back and thinking, at least you're surrounded by the feeling that a lot of people are just acting stupid. You're not really understanding why people aren't understanding things. And I'm not sure whether it's you or them that are seeing things upside down or in reverse because Mercury is in retrograde. Let's face it. Um, communications can, no, no, this is the thing. It's not your insights that can be upside down. It's your way of speaking. It's, it's your ability to get the words out in a way that actually makes sense. In other words, you can stumble over your words a lot when Mercury retrograde comes along, which is not something that normally happens to you. But I do have this feeling like you've been sitting back watching a lot of people this week thinking, and this will follow you for the rest of this week, thinking, wow, that what that is why you know like that it's like thinking people are just absolutely stupid and i think the reason is because you know mercury is heading through pluto we're, mercury is heading through the underworld we are in a very Pl plutonian um energy right now in scorpio season and a lot of people are trying to are bumping their asses around in the dark and i think you it, as in terms of ruled by mercury you're not really bumping your ass around in the dark um, I think that Mercury is kind of very compatible with, with Pluto in that it almost helps Pluto get his work done. You know, um, judgments, uh, universal judgments, spiritual judgments. Mercury is now almost like Pluto's personal private eye. So it's like you can, you actually have sort of that, that vision in the dark and you, you actually might have some insights into what's going on, but there are a lot of people who don't. And so I think the overall effect on you who has the ability to sort of translate everything with a light heart is what, what the fuck is everybody doing right now? And that's what they're doing. They're bumping their asses around in the dark and it's just going to happen, I guess, out until November 23rd. <laughs> FYI. <laughs> okay. So, um, welcome to Born Without Boundaries, everybody. For those of you who are, um, are, are new to the channel, welcome. This is, my name is Michelle and this is my channel, Born Without Boundaries. Please do click subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I go live, which is actually every morning between 8 and 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live. I do a live daily tarot reading, and at the end, I answer questions from you guys. One question, a couple of cards pulled, and I do free readings right then. So it's a lot of fun, and I do that Monday through Friday. And it makes me feel so good. I just, I love those interactions. I'm also going to be doing a special Halloween reading. And I think I'm going to try to do it tonight. It's going to be candle lit. I want to do a pick a card for Halloween. So watch out for that. Um, if you are on platforms that allow for commercials, Gemini, please do know that one's coming up soon. So it's coming up in a couple of seconds so that there will be no other message interruptions um, and that you can depend on. So you can depend on that. And I, I want to say thank you because whether you know it or not, that is actually a donation to the channel when you let the video play or you don't get frustrated with the video. So I appreciate that and I will see you in a couple of seconds. For those of you who just sat through an awkward pause, thank you. For those of you who actually sat through a commercial, thank you, thank you. Um, the Vimeo link, the, there's an extended video attached to this video. You're going to get a full Oracle card spread um, on the YouTube side and then the full tarot card spread and the romance reading, if you're interested, is uh, in that link below on Vimeo. So let's get into your reading for October 30th through November 6th of 2019. This is the general energies for Gemini, sun, moon, and rising sign, or wherever your placements may apply. If you have Gemini other, other places in your chart and you know how to apply this reading to those places and how it will end up affecting you based on your natal chart, that's smart. Go ahead and do it because this is the energies for Gemini. So it could be your sun, moon, rising, or any other placement that Gemini actually has um, some influence over. So let's get into this, see what energy is crowning your reading today. I had to give you that channeled message because I just felt it as soon as I turned on this video. I was like, yeah, Gemini's definitely feeling something. Definitely feeling this. So life is a mystery. Ooh, somebody's mask just fell the fuck 
off. And it's either you or somebody else. Meaning, if you had been sort of keeping something from somebody or hiding something from somebody or not telling somebody something, you are, you, it, is, it is coming out today, but I'm not sure it was voluntarily coming out or this is happening to you. Information that has been withheld from you, kept back from you, uh, subverted underneath the ground, you are discovering it to, uh, this week. It's coming out this week. This is the week of revelations. This is the week where anything, any loose ends or things that you didn't understand, like a lot of things, I think you think people are acting weird, but maybe some people are acting suspicious. And this is definitely a week that you can uncover those things that they were trying to keep hidden. Either that, or like I said, it's you that was trying to keep something hidden. Maybe you didn't want to hurt somebody. Maybe you weren't sure of it yourself. And so you were not overreacting or you, you were keeping it to yourself till you could make sense out of it, but it's coming out this week. All masks are off, all things that are hidden will rise. This is when the veil between the underworld and the overworld, which is the three, our 3D world, is very, very thin, especially these coming days, these three days, the 30th, the 31st, and November 1st. Um, this is when that veil is almost basically non-existent. And so anything that was hidden, any skeletons, not only skeletons in the closet, it's just information. For me, this is information. Or somebody who was not really sincere with you, Gemini. Somebody who was pretending, maybe passive aggressively, saying things like, oh, I'm happy, I'm happy, oh, everything is good, everything is good. Now the mask comes off and they're moody and you, you can't, you know, and I almost feel in some ways you felt this coming, but some of you might be blindsided by it, but in some ways I feel like you felt like this is coming, like how can somebody be happy with everything that I do? Not likely. Um, and I think the mask comes off this week, so don't let it surprise you. I'm not sure this is a huge explosion or a huge upset in your life, but I think this, I think this actually might be happening in a lot of places, which is why you, which is why that channeled message applies, which is why you're like, why the f is this, why are you acting like this? Are you cuckoo? Have you lost it? Yeah, what they've lost is the mask they were hiding behind. What's come off is what they were pretending to be. And I don't know that anything right now is intentionally malicious. I just feel like this was more codependent or passive aggressive and somebody saying that they were happy when they weren't or keeping information from somebody because they didn't want to hurt them when in reality it was just because they weren't ready to face it. So they didn't have words for it and couldn't really, couldn't really articulate it or really didn't feel like discussing it. And maybe they lay low for a little bit too long. At any rate, all of that shit, it's coming up. You see? It's like it's it's like pieces of him are coming out of the grave. It's just coming up and the mask has fallen. And that's what's happening. The mask has fallen. That's gonna be what I named the video. Just gonna say. Just saying. This card flipped and I saw it because this card in a lot of ways um, can be you and also Libra. It's a card of beauty. It's a card of airiness. It's a card of lightheartedness. It's a card of suckling the nectar of life, but it's upside down, <laughs> which is why the nectar has turned sour. So something that was sweet in your life is now turning sour. Something that was happy and light is now almost being restricted and dragged down. That could have something to do with the mask coming off. So this week, you could, you, there could be a heaviness that you usually don't experience in your life. So be aware of that, Gemini. Be aware of that. Uh, be fearless and bold. Don't let it get to you. Don't let anything and any of anybody else's bullshit affect how confident you feel about yourself. I honestly don't think it's going to. Like this mood for you, like look at it. Look at it. He's like, do you see? Do you see like the arrogance on this card? Like, <laughs> he's like, why are you acting the fool? What? Stop being a bitch. You know, like that's sort of his attitude is, 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 is that's what Badger is. Badger is bold, fearless. He even has more confidence than the lion card. Lion is really just almost like much a mature sense of self, self-certainty and confidence. This is borderline arrogance. This is like diva mode. And so maybe you're going into this mode to kind of overcompensate for the exaggerated down pull that you've been feeling. It's just to ground yourself. It's sort of counterbalancing um, the... It's like if you're getting a lot of negative on one side, you have to counterbalance it on the other with this feeling of 
Um, but I feel good about myself. I'm not going to let this get to me. But the point is you have to put a little extra effort this week into not letting things get to you because there's a head, like I said, there's a heaviness that is flipping you upside down and making it impossible for you to stay as light as you really want to be. Walking in the spider web, leave a message and I'll call you back. Unlikely story. Oh, nobody's calling you back. Seriously, this is really like, this is really feeling like you've been trapped, feeling like you've been wrapped up, feeling like somebody has woven this web around you and is almost like crawling towards you with their spider and pincers. Like, um, you don't like this feeling. It's an uncomfortable feeling. And maybe it's you. I don't know. I don't know. I hope this isn't you, Gemini. But it's almost like weaving a web and a tangled tail. And it could very well be that tangled tail. Like somebody's caught, somebody's telling tangled tales somebody's um weaving a spell maybe literally casting a spell because a lot of that happens this time of year somebody may literally be trying to weave a spell or cast a spell on you you may be trying to do this it could be reversed like either way it could be reversed you might be the spell caster you might be the one throwing out using your words to actually try to control people but i do feel like there's this sense of I want to put you where I want to put you and I want to wrap you and hold you where I want to hold you and I want to be the one with the brain and you need to be the one that is sort of waiting for my next direction and if this it's it's that kind of mentality that it is either getting you down pulling you down or is finally coming out as this mask or this face this false face comes off and you see sort of like the strings behind it, the marionette strings. You can see um, who's really pulling the strings and maybe that's what it is. There's somebody behind this other person or somebody behind you or somebody behind a circumstance that is pulling the strings and it's almost like the image that I got in my head was the Wizard in the Wizard of Oz when Toto, right, a, a loyal, faithful dog who can just sense truth all the time because that's what dogs are their truth and that's why all dogs go to heaven um they they can sense it and total run ran and realized oh look there's somebody behind this curtain and that's what it is it's like revealing the man behind the curtain it's like you actually see um not only who the person is but how they've been making everything happen um you're uncovering that truth is really what's going on here we have be at home mm. See, I think you're very, very comfortable in this space. I almost feel like you're almost in full-on detective mode for the next couple of weeks. And this week, it's almost like, in other words, you're almost doing it intentionally. You're super sleuthing intentionally. You could be stalking somebody on the web to trying to find out their bullshit. I'm just going to lay it out there and say it. You could be looking up people on the web to see what the hell is going on or you or somebody could be doing it to you. So like I said, these energies can be vice versa, but it's almost like you are very comfortable or somebody is very comfortable looking up and looking for this um, hidden information. I had said it in my readings a couple of days back and if I can find it, I'll attach it right above if I can find it. But the the real focus is this for, for this week for you um, Gemini, it, it should be the subverted message. It should be those messages that people are trying to hide. In other words, what people don't say is actually more important than what they are saying. Because what they are saying is kind of almost trying to overcompensate in some ways. Overcompensate to make themselves feel good. But it's definitely what they don't say that's more important this week. The abundant universe will provide. I think you're going to find out a lot of bullshit. If you go looking, it will come. That's what I'm saying. Tatanka. It, there it is. The blessings. There's going to be a whole shitload of information and resources for you if you go looking for it. So if you were suspicious about somebody and you, you can look them up, you're going to find out a lot of stuff. If you think somebody was playing you, this could be like a catfish situation too. I'm just going to flat out say it because remember, look, at this is a cat and it's upside down. So it's almost like they were pretending to be somebody that they're not. Ooh, what did I say I was going to name this? 
I almost feel like I don't want to now. I want to name it catfish because that's what I feel like this is. There is going to be an abundance of information if you look for it. If you go Mercury style into the underworld and start to super sleuth this week, Gemini, you will find an abundance of information on the person that you want. You will find that they have been false to you. They have been intentionally misleading you. They have been intentionally misleading you to sort of ensnare you and pull strings. And I think you are very, very, very to keep you or make you theirs or even maybe to suck you into their home and lure you in. Ew. I don't like that energy. I don't like the energy, Gemini, but that's why I'm encouraging you to ask questions and super sleuth. Super sleuth style this week because it's going to benefit you. There's going to be a lot, an abundance of information. And you may not have to go farther than your home. Like I said, you may be able to get this information on the web so you don't really have to leave your home to do it or you will feel very comfortable super sleuthing. You'll feel at home. In fact, it's what you're being called to do. Know your worth. It's like somebody's been stinking up your life. That's what's happening. In other words, they're a skunk. And as cute as skunks can be, we all know they still stink. But that was trying to hide themselves in the flowers. That's what's happening. It's like somebody was trying to cover themselves up with perfume when that's not what they really were. There's a big old pile of shit in your garden. I'll show you my puppy later. Um, there's a big old pile of doo-doo in your garden and it's trying to hide underneath the flowers and then who gets to step in it. So that's why I'm saying, look before you step this week, Gemini. Somebody is intentionally trying to be deceptive to you. The mask is going to come off. You are going to be able to get information. The information is not going to come to you though. This is what you have to know. The information will not come to you. It is still trying to hide. It is still subverting itself. But ha ha ha, little do they know, you are Mercury and you have a good relationship with Pluto and you guys are working together and Pluto is more than happy for you to uncover the truth about people. So get to it, Gemini, because you are totally at home doing this kind of work this week. And it is very important to you your, personally to, to devote at least part of your week to doing this. It is very, very important to you. I'm going to flip around the camera so that I can go over the spread with you. Hold on. Oh, did you hear me say, say your name? Okay. So I told you that I'd show you kisses. And there she is. Look at kisses. Oh. She wanted to jump up and say hi. She did. She like literally tried to get on my lap. So say hi, Gemini. Hi, Gemini. I love you. Kisses for Kiff from Kisses. Okay. All right. So Gemini, here is your spread. Oh. Hold on, squirmy wormy. Here is your spread. Uh, take a look, peruse. But do you see why I'm gonna call this? I don't know, I feel like calling it catfish because somebody was intentionally being deceptive here. Like I said, I don't know if it's you or them. Um, I don't feel like it's you. I feel like this is something that you need to be aware of. And on some level, you are already aware of it. You are extremely comfortable being private eye. You are, there's a lot of confidence here. There's a lot of confidence here. Look, confidence, bold, fearless. Go into the dark, Gemini. Go into the dark and uncover. Like, you know, it's almost like that scene. I think it's from, not from Harry Potter. Oh, you remember that scene from Harry Potter with the spiders? Eek. Go into the dark to find the truth. That's what it is. Go talk to the spider. It's like you're going into the into the um, forbidden forest in Harry Potter, and now you're surrounded by spiders. But you have to go there to get the truth. This is the web. I almost feel like this is the internet. You've got to go there to get the truth, and don't be afraid. I don't think you will be afraid to unearth the truth. And there is an abundance of information on this stinker who has been disguising themselves, this little skunk mother you-know-what, who is covering himself or herself up in flowers, trying to pretend like they are not what they are. Catfish. Do you see this energy? Catfish. And if you are rolling in this energy yourself, Gemini, people are gonna figure it out this week. People will figure it out this week. I want more details on the information that you might dig up and who this person is, um, who they really are. See, this is why I think that it's not you because it's almost like somebody is trying to ground you or make it very difficult for you to fly or be your light, airy self. You see what I'm saying? 
It's, it's very, it's, people are, be here now. This is an air sign card because that's where you live. Air signs live in the now. They're trying to make you stuck in the past. Ooh, oh shit, I just felt that. And it wasn't my dog. It's almost like there's a person from the, the trying to suck you down into the past by pretending to be somebody that they're not. You, it could be an ex that is coming back, trying to pretend like they are somebody that they aren't over the web, trying to hook you in over the web. I want to see. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to dive deep, especially into this, which I have just uncovered. Um, over on Vimeo, if you want to follow me, I'm going to do a full tarot spread, and I'm also going to pull a romance reading for you. So I will see you over there, Gemini.